In this illustration, uh, we intend to simulate the explosively formed penetrator in the Abacus software. Actually, this process is a special type of shaped charge. As you observe in the picture, warhead is composed of explosive material and liner. And the detonator uh, has been distinguished by red color. In this question, the explosive material is composition B, and that is a compound of RDX and TNT. In this picture, you can observe the formation of liner during detonation process. As it can be observed, the first shape of liner is not conical and is in form of a dish. And following the detonation, a lot of pressure is applied to the back of the liner, causing that to speed up and penetrate into any intended target. As previously mentioned in this question, the process of explosively formed penetrator is being implemented and it's also called explosively formed projectile and is abbreviated as EFP. In this picture, the process has been displayed clearly. Also, its animation can be observed here. EFP process has been displayed properly in these pictures and the formation of liner can be observed during this process. Select solid, unhomogeneous, and continue. I'll select copper material. OK. Again, I'll click on create section. Select solid, unhomogeneous, and continue. I will select composition B material and OK. I'll click on assign section. Select explosive, done. Select composition B section and OK. Here I will assign the copper properties to liner. Click on create step, select dynamic explicit and continue. Time period is equal to 90 microsecond. OK, select surface to surface, contact and continue. I will select these surfaces, done, click on surface, then select these surfaces, done, and OK. So in this manner, the interaction between the explosive material and liner was defined. As you observe, when the explosive detonates, a lot of pressure is applied to the back of the liner, causing that to be thrown forward at a great speed.
In the next step, we intend to calculate the ultimate speed of Lyla. To do so, I click on Create XY Data, select ODB Field Output, and continue. Here I'll select V2, then this node, and click on Save. Here you observe the diagram displaying the speed of liner, in which the ultimate speed of liner is equal to 1116 meters per second. Actually, when the explosive detonates, a great pressure is applied to the back of the liner, causing its speed to increase excessively. The maximum speed of liner is equal to 1116 meters per second. As you know, two points are so important in the shaped charge process. One is the final shape of liner, and second is its ultimate speed of liner. You can observe these two cases here, both the final shape and ultimate speed of liner that was equal to 1,116 meters per second.